What I'm going to tell you now, you have never heard before. It's never been said. It's about the rule of law. I'd like you to consider something, why defending the Constitution is the only way forward in order to secure our liberties. We are one nation under God, domain. We are governed by his laws. That determines our freedoms. The question is, can anyone say what the Constitution is in eight words? No one's ever said it. I can say it. The Constitution is a declaration of war on tyranny. Then what's tyranny? You all know what tyranny is. Those that have declared war on God's laws and his people since biblical times. Who are they? They're the ones that would shred our Constitution and replace their laws with ours. What are their laws? To deny our freedom of press. To deny our redress of grievances. Every amendment in the Constitution would disappear. The declaration of war on tyranny is why we can keep all our amendments intact from this attack. That is the rule of law. The Constitution stands against tyranny of those godless ones that would come to power and strip us of our freedoms. The rest, all the amendments, everything that you want to listen and study there is how we use them against the godless ones and keep our freedoms. The last thing I'd like to talk about, I think is essential that we understand. There are many people in the churches, wonderful pastors, giving their people hope for eternal life. And they say, just believe in God and we can change everything. Just believe in God. Even one pastor, very famous, said, tell your leader your allegiance is to God. That's it. I wonder if that pastor really knew what he was saying. If there's one place in the world where evil can gain a foothold in humanity, it's in politics, especially in America, where our rule of law is to prevent the advancement of tyranny in this world. What happens if you don't go out and vote, then Satan himself will be sitting in the seat of liberty. You will be vanquished. Why? Because the Democratic Party will be at the head of our government and they will shred our laws. That is why we must get out and vote and prevent them from ever again gaining control on our country. We have to get out and vote and vanquish them. If you think like most people, all oh, the politicians are corrupt, there's nothing we can do. That's fine. He's telling you there's nothing you can do. Don't vote. It's okay. New Year, America is no good anyhow. That's the devil. Get out and vote. That's the only way we can preserve our freedoms without a civil war. And let me remind you, if we have a civil war here in America, the whole world collapses. The stock markets go down. No one will believe in our dollar. It doesn't work. Free, med free, free market enterprise. Why invest? It's not here anymore. That's the only reason our dollar is valuable. That's the only reason we produce great goods. When I was selling General Electric CAT scans, I went to Canada. They were 20 years behind us. Why? Because they had a socialized government. And then no one bid on their equipment. So people, they didn't care. And the government was in cahoots. And so they never progressed. Even if you go to an Israeli or an Arab market, everyone's out there finagling. What are they finagling about? 
how to get the best goods, how to get the lowest price, how to make something better. That's America. That's capitalism. Please understand, that's the only way we can keep our freedoms. So I must remind you, get out and vote. And if any religious leader says, oh, you don't have to, or you give your allegiance to God. Of course you give your allegiance to God for your salvation. But when you're talking about a nation, your allegiance is to protect God's laws here on earth, embodied in that constitution. Because all rules of laws, of God's laws, are the rule of all our laws. And the Constitution's declaration of war on tyranny is God's rule of law. So, once you stand against tyranny, you stand with God. Thank you very much. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Constitution for which our free republic stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, free from tyranny and justice for all. Thank you very much.